most people think of stress as something purely negative. It's commonly referred to as moments when we feel tense, nervous, and mentally and physically fatigued. However, stress can also be positive and actually serves an essential function in many life situations. Let's try to better understand the role of stress, the concepts of eustress and distress, the difference between them, and how to prevent harmful stress. Before discussing the concepts of eustress and distress, let's clarify the definition of stress. Stress is the psychological and physiological response that the body activates in the face of tasks, difficulties, or life events that are perceived as excessive or dangerous. It is how the brain reacts to stimuli that generate uncertainty or that one cannot manage effectively. The positive form of stress is known as eustress. It is a condition that we often experience throughout life. Eustress is the stress we feel when facing a challenge that motivates us and helps us achieve our goals. Typical examples include the stress before a sports competition, at the beginning of a new job, or when we have to perform at our best during an exam. According to experts, this form of stress is positive because it propels us towards new personal and professional goals. Although it can make us feel agitated and nervous, it is actually beneficial because it provides the right amount of energy to improve ourselves, gain new experiences, and grow. On the contrary negative stress occurs when it persists over time without having the ability to cope with the situation that caused it. Specifically, distress is the term used to describe a form of stress in which the stressful event is perceived as a threat, and one feels overwhelmed because they lack the resources to cope with it. Eustress and distress, therefore, are two sides of the same coin. Every person experiences stress differently. We must remember that each person perceives a stressful event differently, which means that the same situation can be perceived as more challenging by one individual and less so by another. These differences depend on various factors, including past traumas and experiences that subsequently influence how one responds to specific circumstances. Additionally, the level of tolerance towards a specific stimulus can change throughout life. Regardless of this, there are events commonly associated with negative stress and others that tend to create positive stress. Examples of negative stressors include the loss of loved ones, job loss, divorce, illness, and financial problems. On the other hand, events that stimulate positive stress include job promotions, marriage, buying a house, and the birth of a child. It is important to specify that there are two types of stress. The first is acute stress, which occurs when we have an immediate reaction to a stressful event and tends to be of short duration. It can happen after a fright, intense emotion, or when we have to do something new or dangerous. As we have seen, it can be positive when it stimulates and motivates a person. A stressful event has immediate effects on the body through the release of hormones that cause physical and emotional reactions useful for coping with the situation, such as increased heart rate and breathing, heightened attention, muscle tension, and a reduction in certain functions considered less important in facing the danger, such as digestion. In the case of acute stress, the situation usually returns to normal when the stressful episode ends, and hormone levels return to normal. Chronic stress, on the other hand, occurs when this condition persists over time, stress hormone levels are constantly elevated, which can lead to a series of negative consequences. The effects of chronic stress on the body can be numerous. The causes of chronic stress can vary, such as financial problems, an unhappy marriage, family and work difficulties, think of burnout syndrome, and long-term illnesses. According to experts, the continuous presence of high levels of stress hormones can result in various physical and emotional problems, including insomnia and excessive sleepiness, decreased energy, chronic headaches, muscle pain, changes in appetite and eating disorders. Moreover, chronic stress can weaken the immune system and contribute to the development of various disorders and conditions, including infectious and autoimmune diseases, tumors, psychiatric problems, metabolic disorders, hypertension, heart diseases, and can lead to alcohol and drug dependency. As we have seen, chronic stress can be very detrimental to health. Unfortunately, especially in contemporary society, it is not always possible to avoid stimuli that have an adverse impact on our well-being. Therefore, 
it is important to implement behaviors that help manage and reduce chronic stress. To combat stress, in addition to maintaining a healthy and balanced diet and getting sufficient sleep, it may be advisable to be aware of your limits and learn to say no when necessary. Improve the environment if it is a source of stress. Avoid being overly perfectionistic. Delegate tasks and responsibilities when they become excessive. Engage in regular physical activity that promotes well-being and harmony, following the principles of fitness. Avoid excessive alcohol or other substances that can induce dependence. Learn and practice relaxation techniques to reduce physical stress. Try to relax the mind, for example, by practicing meditation. In addition to these tips, it may be helpful to seek the assistance of a psychologist to combat chronic stress and learn how to better cope with stressful events. The specialist can help individuals understand the causes of their condition, gain better self-understanding, understand their own personality, and cope with stress more effectively. Being able to distinguish eustress from distress and understanding how to best manage the latter is crucial for one's physical and mental well-being. At the same time, it is important to activate solutions that allow us to monitor our health and prevent possible problems in order to take care of ourselves comprehensively.